To understand the need for the use event react hook, first we need to understand the problem that it solves. Let's say that we have a counter component. Whenever the count state changes, the component re-renders. And as the result of re-rendering, we see this updated count over here. The count is updated via the increment count handler. Perfect, right? Well, not so perfect. The problem here is that whenever the component re-renders, this increment count function is redefined, is recreated from scratch. Well, here this is not an issue, but in bigger applications, this might create some performance or optimization issues. Even though we have used call, use callback here, still the problem remains the same because use callback takes the count as dependency array and we have to pass this count as dependency array because we are using the count in the use callback. So whenever the count changes, this use callback will run again and hence the increment count function will again be defined. So what's the solution for this? React team has created an RFC in which they proposed a solution named use event hook. So in future, you will be able to import use event from React and use it instead of this use callback. For demonstration purpose, I have created a custom use event hook. This is very basic version of what the React team is planning to do. The actual implementation will be very complex. So let's see once the use event hook is available for us, how it will work. We will import it from React and we will be able to use it just the way we use use callback hook. But use event won't take any dependency array because if it takes dependency array, then it will be the same as use callback and the problem will remain the same. So now the question is, how will this count be updated? How will this count remain the updated count? You see, this is a functional component and in there use event is also a function. So use event will have access to count, which is the variable of the outer function because of closers. So this count will always be updated, the latest count. And hence the problem is solved. Whenever the count changes, the component re-renders but increment count is not created again. Now let's take a look at another example. Let's say we have a log analytics function which console logs the username and the route which has been changed. Now because inside the use effect we have used route URL and username we have to add both of them in the dependency array and because of this username in the dependency array whenever the username changes the log analytics will console this again. But we don't want that. We want console only to happen when the route URL changes. When the route changes and not when the user changes. So how do we solve this? We will wrap this callback function inside the use event. And in the dependency array, we only add route URL. And because we haven't used username inside the use effect, the compiler won't yell at us. And here in the callback, we have passed route URL, which can be used here. And for this username, we have not passed it from here. Because if we pass it from here, again, we'll have to add it to the dependency array, which we don't want. So instead, username will always be the latest one, will always be the updated one because of closer. Now, let's see this in action. If you see now, we have dashboard and revenue. You see, when I click on dashboard, the console says route changed by swastik to slash dashboard. And if I go to revenue, the console says route changed by swastik to revenue. But when I change the name, you see, when I change name, it does not console logs. But previously, it was console logging because username was in the dependency array. So this is how use event can be used when it finally comes in production. And mind that use event is yet not available in React. What I have shown you is a custom event hook, which is a very simplified version of what is about to come in React. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and yes, do subscribe.